Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got here a very interesting case. This is a very good, clear example of a condition known as glue ear or middle ear effusion. So at the end of the ear canal here, we can see an eardrum which is sort of brown, straw coloured, slightly opaque, not the usual pale grey appearance. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of thick mucus built up behind the eardrum filling the, the middle ear. So I'll show you what a normal eardrum should look like. Um, so you can see here it is definitely sort of a pearly coloured grey appearance. So that's absolutely fine. There's nothing behind the eardrum other than a little airfield cavity. So what I'm going to ask the patient to do now is pinch their nose, keep their mouth closed, and try and blow through their nose. Now, because the air has nowhere to go, it goes up the eustachian tube. There you go, so there's a little bit of deflection there, so the patient succeeded in doing that. Um, so the air, the, the eustachian tube is uh, essentially a little tube that connects the back of your nasal cavity to each middle ear space. And that tube is supposed to open and close throughout the day as you chew, swallow, uh, and so on, and sometimes yawn. Um, and that, that opening and closing effect always supplies the middle ear with, with fresh air. Um, but when it's clamped closed for extended periods of time, this mucus builds up. So I'll ask her to do it again, and you'll see she's able to actually blow air up the eustachian tube, and you'll see bubbles forming in the mucus. Um, so right here, and there you go. So she's, she is actually able to, to open the eustachian tube, but she's a, only able to do that forcefully. So clearly it's not uh, happening throughout the day as it should, and this mucus is building up due to negative pressure occurring in the middle ear. So hopefully she can get this resolved. I've sent her to an ear, nose and throat consultant who um, can you know, look at her sinuses and see what the problem is.